Hey, hi, uh, Kolidam. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How about you? Yes, I'm also doing great. Thank you for asking. Uh, so, Kodi, uh, is it okay to if I call you Kodi, right? Yes, Kodi is my surname and Ram oh, Krishna is my name. Ram Krishna, fine. All right, Ram Krishna. So, let's proceed. Uh, Ram yes. Krishna, can you please brief me out with your introduction? Okay, sir. I am Ram Krishna from Odisha, currently based in Hyderabad. Recently, I have completed my graduation from Centurion University of Technology and Management mm -hmm. in the branch of Computer Science and Engineering mm -hmm. with a CGP of 8.3. Okay. Talking about my talking about my strengths, I am a creative, collaborative, and punctual positive person. My short-term goals is to get into a good position in top MNC company. Mm -hmm. My long-term mm -hmm. goals is to take the responsibilities within the company and get into the higher positions. Talking about my technical skills, I do have a technical skills related to data analysis. Okay. Those are Python, SQL, Power BI, and Excel statistics. Uh, I have also done a certification, um, Google Data Analysis Professional Certificates from Coursera. Um, okay. Talking about my projects, I have done two Power BI dashboards using the Power BI and SQL. Those are um, HR data, HR analytical dashboard for Moon Technolab and sales and, and sales analytics for moon technology and and pizza sales analysis using sql right so additionally uh, additionally yeah. i have done an internship at exposi data labs as a data science intern where i have worked on e-commerce sales analysis dashboard okay that's that's all about myself sir. impressive yeah so uh, uh ramakrishna uh while talking about the internship part, you have done an uh, internship on data science domain as well, right? Yes, yeah, sir. So, what all tech stacks were you familiar with at that time? So, while we are working on an internship, I have worked on Power BI and SQL. Okay, well, so didn't you use uh, deep learning or uh, statistics or a part of AI ML? No, sir, I have worked on Power BI dashboard, e-commerce okay. sales analysis. So how would you, uh, Ramakrishna, how would you rate yourself on a scale of 10 when it comes to SQL, SQL? I would rate myself 7 out of 10 in SQL. Seven. So let's start. Uh, Ramakrishna, your first question is, uh, what do you understand by the term subqueries and how would you use them in SQL? So subqueries in SQL are nothing but SQL query inside a query. Okay. While the execution, execution order of this query is the inner query runs first and the outer query runs last. Mm -hmm. The Same example for uh, the example for the sub queries is, for example, if we want to find the second highest salary, second highest salary, we can write these two states, two maximum salary statements in, inside inside a sub query and outer query. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Coming to the next question, uh, can you brief me out with some uh, examples uh, of common table expression, CTE, which is otherwise known as CTE? So CTE basically used to, I mean, break down the complex queries into simpler parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, what do you understand by the term window function? Can you please uh, elaborate more on that? So window functions are used in SQL mm -hmm. to part to partition our data and, and, and it gives it ranks for each record. And the different window functions are rank, dense rank, and row number, where these these three gives the ranks for each record, whereas row number gives the same it has like a serial order, okay. whereas dense dense rank. Where the row number skips the order when it, when the duplicate arrives, where the dense rank doesn't skip the order. Okay. Uh, jumping to the next question, uh, Ramakrishna, tell me, uh, how do you combine results of two queries using union and union all? Two tables, sir. Yes, two results of two queries. Using union and union all. So should I write query or uh, yes please you can write it in the chat box. 
okay sir yes some so actually i want to say the main difference between union and union all are mm-hmm. union gives union gives the unique records where union all gives the duplicate records okay can you please uh, give me with an example okay i'm i'm writing sir. yes please do summarize with an example Done. Yes, sir. So here is the record. For example, we have two tables: employee and employee uh, employees from IT department. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Yes, you were saying something. Uh, yes, sir. It retrie- it retrieves the unique records from the both the tables. Mm-hmm. Whereas when we use the union all, it retrieves the both records with duplicates. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, what to understand with the term indexes in SQL and how do you improve So should I think that uh, optimizing a slow query in uh, you know slow running SQL query uh yes. index, for for that indexes are used yes sir. for the, for queries which are running slow and takes and takes retrieval more time we can use indexes for the it retrieves more faster than does yeah. okay uh, can you mention out some difference between stored procedure and function in sql store procedures so store procedures basically used to um, store the queries whenever whenever we need the whenever um... all right not an issue yeah. fine so uh, how do you use partition by and order by in windows function uh, so should i write or... no you just have to explain so partition by in windows function sir mm-hmm. Select. We have to first. We have to write the select and the column name for which Windows function we have to use. Like rank, tens rank, or row number. Then o, o, we have to give over in brackets. We have to give partition by column name. Sure. Partition by salary or age from table name. Okay. And what about order by? Order by. Yeah. Yes. Sir, in. In in our in our class we have to use order by. Okay. All right. So with that, uh, let's come back to again. Power BI. Okay. Okay, sir. So how would you rate yourself on a scale of ten when it comes to Power BI? So I would rate myself as five in Power BI because I'm learning. I'm in the starting stage of that. Okay. So, can you just elaborate a more on how to create a dynamic date filter in Power BI for the last month data? Last month data. Yes. Using DAX, sir. Okay. By okay. using DAX, we can create the dynamic. Please data. elaborate a more on that. Mm. E date using the e- function called E date. Sure. Are you sure on that? Think twice. So, or or by using the uh, function called calendar. In calendar, we have to pass the date. Date. We have to give the dates. Okay. 
So, uh, Ramakrishna, can you please uh, tell me the steps for setting up role-based access in Power BI using RLS? RLS stands for Role Level Security. Uh, so basically, RLS use RLS stands for role level security, mm -hmm. uh, which is which specifies the access for the different users. For example, we have a e-commerce uh, dashboard uh, for for different cities. If you want to if you want to get if if a user from the Bangalore want to see the only Bangalore data, we can specify the RLS in that. Okay. What is the difference between a calculated column and a measure in Power BI? Calculated column and measure both are used, both are created using the DAX, whereas calculated column takes the extra storage in the data, whereas measure doesn't take this um, data. Um, measure, measure source the single value as calculated column source the multiple values for each record okay. well 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 so how would you approach a building a kpi dashboard that tracks multiple metrics over time sorry sir. okay fine okay so i hope uh, you would be aware of again scenarios, right? Yeah. Yes, so yes. let's take a scenario of large data performance, data set performance. Okay. Now tell me, how would you manage and optimize Power BI reports that use large data sets? Let's take, uh, let's for example, assume that, let's uh, take an example, millions of rows are there. Fine. Ensuring that the reports are non efficiently and are uh, you know uh, you can efficiently and refresh quickly ensuring that the reports can be efficiently and refresh quickly okay okay sir. so for dealing with a large large data sets if we have a large amount of data we use live connection or direct query mm -hmm. Uh, even if you are using in import mode, we have to we have to ensure some steps like the data modeling is taking place, uh, or correctly taking place, or um, or the data or the data is current correctly pre-processed, and the visualization which are used for the 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 custom visualization should be used like verify Microsoft verified visualizations. Sure. Yes, sir. So you said something about RLS. Okay. Yes. Now tell me, how would you implement RLS in Power BI to restrict data access based on user roles? So we basically have to create the uh, manage roles in Power BI. Okay. For different, for, for different, like let's take so for different cities, uh, sales analysis for different cities, we have to implement uh, different roles fine so uh, how do you create a dynamic date filter in power bi dynamic date filter mm -hmm. so this is oh, not much. okay so how proficient are you in python I would rate six out of ten. Okay. So, what are libraries are you familiar with? I'm familiar with NumPy, Python, NumPy, and Pandas. NumPy and Pandas. Pandas. All right. Okay. Fine. So, let's start with again uh, Python. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, when it comes to Python, okay. What do you understand by OOPS? So OOPS stands for Object Oriented Programming, which has four filters, four pillars, like uh, encapsulation, uh, encapsulation. Yeah. Uh, 
Yes, uh, I, I'm just, I'm not able to recall the oops cones. Polymorphism? Oh, oh, oh. Polymorphism. Does it count? Yes, sir. Does it include? Inheritance, In does it include? Yes, sir. inheritance polymorphism. Data wrangling? Data wrangling, no, sir. No, okay. All right. Fine. So how do you handle missing data in Python? And what are the techniques to use, you use to ensure data quality? So for missing values, I do use the statistical functions like mean, mode, median. If the if the if the column is a textured column, I use mode function. If the um, columns are in co columns are in numeric data, I use mean or median. Okay. Okay. So this is how you handle the missing data in Python. Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, my last question, Ramakrishna, uh, what are the difference between NumPy and Pandas? And how do you decide which to use for a given piece of task? So NumPy is used for the numeric calculations, like complex mathematical calculations okay. in data, whereas, whereas Pandas deals with the data pre-processing, deals with the data, like data cleaning. In... Okay. All right. Data pre-processing. OK. All right. So with that uh, comes to an end. So your feedback will be shared soon. All right. OK, sir. Ramakrishna, all the very best. Thank you for joining. Thank you, sir.